My name is Jeremy Griffith. <laughs> and you're watching The Shift with your host, Chris Ramsey. Hey guys, what's up? Chris Ramsey here and welcome back once again to another edition of The Shift. Thank you to Jeremy for probably one of the most entertaining intros to the shift ever that's jeremy griffith you can follow him i'll leave the link below on his instagram at lost angeles this week we're taking a look at some cool new releases but before we do anything i want to speak about a friend of mine who left us uh, this week his name was chris stanislas chris was a kind-hearted dude he was smart he kept to himself a lot and he was pretty shy he recently released um his first and only book through Illusionist called Tut, um, and it was his sole contribution to the magic community. Chris's family in this hard time are actually raising money to pay for his funeral, and I'll leave the link below where you guys can pledge if you like. Um, if you only have a dollar to donate, that's fine. And if you have nothing to give, just please share the post. I think it would mean a lot to myself and his family, of course. So, Chris, you're going to be very much missed by not only me, but by a lot of people. And to the Stanislas family, we're uh, tremendously sorry for your loss. And hope that you guys stay strong through this, uh, through this hard time. All right, guys. This week, before we get into the deal, let's look at the winner of last week's contest. And for that, of course, we do need a drum roll. So, drum it up. The winner of last week's contest is... Ke Kenny Adams. Kenny Adams, congratulations. Hit us up via Facebook, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies, and we'll send that out to you as soon as possible. So you know what to do to win this week's contest. Simply like this video and comment below on what you thought of the episode, what you think of the effects, the products, and I will choose one lucky winner to take home these prizes next week. Good luck. On the deal for this week, we got two products, the first of which is a download entitled Presage by Michael Blau and Ethan Zach, and the second being the Vernon Seminar, the Die Vernon Seminar by Roberto Giobi which was filmed at Sessions last year, or this year if I'm not mistaken. So let's start off with Presage. Presage is a cool effect. It's a prediction effect involving a deck of cards and an envelope. And I actually got to film the trailer for this, so I was pretty excited. I actually love this trick. I, um, I went out to California, I think this year, earlier this year, to film. And uh, you know what, have a, have a look at the trailer, have a look at part of the trailer where I perform the effect and we'll talk about it after this. Think of any playing card at all. Yep. We got it. You're gonna name it out loud, all right? Okay. One, two, three. Two of hearts. Two of hearts, they always go for the two <laughs> hearts. You're not buying it, right? Can you just go ahead and, and just point to any card? And you're not gonna show me, but you're gonna show the cameras. I'm gonna turn around. Good. I'm gonna try to write down a prediction here. Edgar, for the first time, would you would you name the card out loud? Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. I was close. I had the Ace of Spades. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not over because I had this envelope right before the trick started, and I said to you, I said, this is going to play a part, but you didn't know what yet. Do you remember as a joke? I sort of said to you, name a card, and I repeated it like a fraction of a second after you said it, right? We kind of laughed, and we, we had a moment, Edgar, we had a moment, we shared that. I remember that. <laughs> Edgar, what was that card that you named? Do you remember? Was it the Two of Hearts, right? Two of Hearts. See, I, I wrote down here, before I even got here, I wrote, you will name the Two of Hearts. You will name the Eight of Diamonds. Uh, the Two of Hearts. <laughs> the Nine of Clubs. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so guys, that was Presage. What presage is, is basically you show up to the table. This is my performance, by the way. I know they have loads of different ways you can perform this effect. I chose to perform it as an opener. So you walk up, you start off with a joke. Um, the joke fails or succeeds, however you want to look at it. You go into having them select a card. You predict that card, but not only have you predicted that, the envelope that's been there since the beginning 
now contains a prediction of the card they named when you got to the table. The joke, supposedly. So I think it's a pretty strong effect. It's a great opener for strolling. It resets instantly, so uh, the reset is really good. If you're doing between tables, you can use this. You could also use it as a closer for a standing, uh, for a standing environment. I know that Michael and uh, Ethan have a really clever way of presenting it using a stack. Uh, which I thought is really clever and this might play a little bit bigger and it might be a little bit more uh, not as not as much for walk around personally I would think this would be great for a parlor effect where you have the envelope there in the whole time and you go through this uh, this effect so regardless it's an easy trick to perform it's super easy anybody can perform it and it's a great opener if you're not into mentalism um, but you want to add a little bit of mind reading and perhaps a little bit of comedy into your set this is a great way to do so Check it out, try it out for yourself, and I'm sure you're gonna get some good reactions and some good laughs. So definitely check it out. Presage by Michael Blau and Ethan Zach. Next up we have Roberto Giobi's Die Vernon Seminar. This was a seminar he gave at the, I think the last sessions in the UK. This is presented by Vanishing Inc. So check out the trailer. I've not done a performance for this and I'll tell you about that why after this. So check this out. Uh, hum humanity would look at life and the universe. People like Galileo Galilei, Siegfried Freud, Einstein, Darwin, Pablo Picasso, different areas and uh, different disciplines of life. And I do think uh, that Die Vernon for the art of magic holds the same importance as these people in other areas of life. And the idea of, th of this seminar is to show through his works, we're going to talk about techniques and tricks and uh, theories, uh, presentations, to show why this is so, at least try to capture the essence of Vernon's magic. to say that there are some people who don't believe in God but there are no magicians who don't believe in Dave Vernon. <laughs> so that was a bit of the trailer from Roberto Giobi's Vernon seminar. What you get are two DVDs. It's a two disc DVD set and basically it's Roberto Giobi's uh, lecture talking about the life and times of Dave Vernon. So if you have no clue who Dave Vernon is this is a good place to start, and if you do know who Diane Vernon is, this is also a good spot for you. Uh, the reason being is that Roberto obviously had a personal relationship with Diane Vernon and a relationship with people who are very close to Diane Vernon as well. So not only do you get loads and loads of interesting, funny uh, anecdotes, but you also get a peek into things that you may have overlooked, which I definitely have. So if you follow Di Vernon and you've read some of his books and you basically know that this guy was a genius for all intents and purposes. He took things that were very banal and very sort of normal to us and just made them brilliant. Like we'd overlook so many things. So um, let me give you an example. On the second disc, I think that's where I learned the most. He talks about the in-jog shuffle, why we do it wrong, um, the top card break, how to do it properly. He talks about all sorts of false shuffles, false cuts, second dealing. So you're getting hours of knowledge from Giobi and indirectly from Di Vernon himself. He shows you clips of Di Vernon's performances in lectures and on TV. And he talks about the subtleties that Di Vernon had and the approach that he had to creating magic. So if you're looking to uh, make an effect better or just to refine your magic, to, to polish it, this is a great place to start. I mean, it's just it's just wonderful to, uh, to see that Vernon's legacy is being carried on. So many of the young magicians coming up today have no idea who Di Vernon is. You know, all they know is perhaps Erdenay's and the latest effect. So this is a great, great place for you guys to be. It's a lecture, so you get the 
hands-on approach that Joby gives, but you also get years and years of knowledge condensed into these two discs. So I think it's a very, very important contribution. And I really honestly wish I was there during this session. And if Joby ever has another lecture of this sort, I will definitely make my best attempt to be there. Uh, upon getting this at first, I, I thought, well, what am I going to expect? Is this just gonna be card stuff? Is it gonna be just theory? But it's everything. It's everything. You get anecdotes, stories, tricks, uh, slight subtleties, all of this. So it's a really, really complete seminar. I think uh, Joby did a really good job. And obviously there's tons of crediting that, that are involved in this as well. So now everything he mentions, he will direct you to the proper uh, book or to the proper uh, manuscript or lecture notes where you can learn this, uh, where you can learn whatever he's teaching. So definitely check it out. I, I absolutely love this. It was a great pleasure to sit back, kick this DVD and sit on my couch with my close up pad and just enjoy uh, what I was watching. So it's, it's a fresh break from watching performance, tutorial, uh, construction, all of this stuff. As you can imagine, I watch you know, 10, 12 DVDs a week. So this was a really refreshing thing where I just sat down with my coffee and my close-up pad of my cards on my couch, popped this in and just had a good evening. So even if you're looking um, to invite some friends over, some friend magicians, and you guys just wanna pop something on while you jam, this is a great thing to do because you'll always pick up a nugget of knowledge here. So I'm gonna stop my rant right now. Uh, Roberto Joby's Die Vernon Seminar, do check this out, it's really great. All right, well that was short and sweet. That wraps it up for this week's edition of The Shift. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. It means the world to me. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. So have a good weekend for what's left of it. Peace out.